welcome to this session so we will see some reasoning questions on nitrogen containing compounds now alkyl cyanides have the higher boiling point than the corresponding alkyl halides so actually alkyl cyanides are polars and they exist as a highly associated molecules and they possess the higher boiling point than alkyl halides because which are less polar molecules so this depends upon this one so in this way we can say they have the higher boiling cyanides are soluble in water but isocyanides are insoluble cyanides are soluble in water but isocyanides are insoluble because this uh, cyanides are polars and they form the hydrogen bonding with water molecules while the isocyanide they do not form hydrogen bonding that's why they are insoluble in water why are amines basic in nature why are amines basic in nature let us see so amines contains a lone pair of electrons on its nitrogen atoms which is easily available for protonation and this is the cause of basic nature any other group increases the electron density on the nitrogen and it will increase the basicity for example if the tertiary uh, nitrogen which have uh, given by the electron by 3 it can be uh, lone giving group the uh, electron giving groups so density uh, basicity of the tertiary nitrogen more than the secondary nitrogen than the primary amine so these are the different type of uh, group uh, primary amine secondary amine tertiary amine so tertiary amine have uh, having the more basic nature as compared to secondary and first this is the order of increasing basicity ethyl amines are more basic than any lean ethyl amines are more basic so this is the c2h5 group so this c2h5 group of the ethyl amines are electron donating group so uh, that is it increases the electron density of nitrogen due to plus i effect on the other hand phenyl group is an electron withdrawing group so it will decrease the electron density of nitrogen due to minus i effect or you can say plus r effect so ethyl amine is more basic because it will donate electron to this nitrogen so basicity of this nitrogen atom will increase and in this case basicity of this nitrogen will decrease because this lone pair will be pulled by this phenyl so this is the plus r effect it will give it will give electron to the ring or you can say minus i effect due to which this aniline is less basic in nature why amines are more basic than amides in simple amines the unshared electron pair is usually localized on the nitrogen atoms hence available for protonation but in amides the electron pair is electron pair is delocalized to the carbonyl group through the resonance you can see this diagram this rcns2 this electron is resonating with the carbon so we can see this the another resonating structure of amides so in this case uh, amine amines are more basic while the amides are less basic due to this delocalization of electron on the nitrogen atom tertiary amines have lowest boiling point of the group of the isomeric amines so you can see this is the primary amine secondary amine they can form the hydrogen bonding while the tertiary fails to do so so this is the primary amine so they can make hydrogen through this one hydrogen one hydrogen so they get two possibility hydrogen bonding in this case one hydrogen is there so there is a one possibility hydrogen bonding so one is uh, through the lone pair one through lone pair so one is three and this is the two bonding but this is the bulky group and uh, they have uh, they can share through this one nitrogen atoms but that this three uh, bigger alkyl group will prevents this water molecule to come inside so there is a, a lesser possibility of hydrogen bonding with the tertiary amine so that's why they have the lower boiling point but these having the a uh, primary having the higher boiling point second having the lower boiling point and this has the least boiling point as compared to other three it is really soluble in methylamine methylamine is like a ammonia so it is just like an ammonia so if you remove methyl and put hydrogen becomes ammonia it forms a complex with the silver plus ions it forms a complex with them thereby decreases the concentration of silver ions in solution So thus the product of concentration of the Ag plus and Cl minus ion is less than the solubility product of the HCl. That's why this AgCl is soluble in methylamine. Shape of trimethyl trimethyl amine is pyramidal. Why? So if you see this trimethyl, this is actually there are three methyl group and this nitrogen having a lone pair. 
so they makes the hybridization sp3 three lone pair and one bond pair that's why this is the pyramidal in pyramidal in structure so actually this is because tetramethyl nitrogen hydroxide is more basic than trimethyl amine actually this uh, me4 n4 oh so this is tetramethyl uh, amine hydroxide complete energy in water trimethyl amine like ammonia molecule it will combine with the water to produce the oh ion so they will produce the oh ion see let's see the example so trimethyl amine reacting with the water so it will give me uh, so trimethyl amine plus oh minus and for this one kb is very small actually the kb of this uh, reaction is very small and why because due to the thus due to the higher concentration of oh minus in this one in this one the concentration of oh minus is more and it is in this way the concentration of oh is very less that's why this is more basic and this is less basic in nature boiling point of ethyl amine is 290 kelvin and while the diethyl amine is 280.4 so this is less this is the more why is less this is secondary amine this is the primary amine so primary amine having a two hydrogen bond hydrogen atom so two hydrogen bonding will uh, take place so uh, boiling point will be more as compared to this one why because it has one hydrogen atom means only one hydrogen bonding so more hydrogen bonding more high, higher boiling point less hydrogen bonding lower boiling point so we have uh, two type of amines this and this and uh, these and this cannot be prepared by amonolysis of corresponding alkyl bromides these two amines cannot be prepared by the amonolysis of corresponding alkyl acids while the each can be prepared from the carboxylic acid so we can prepare from the carboxylic acid but we cannot prepare from the alkyl bromides if you see this alkyl bromides this will convert into what not amine if you heat it to convert it to alkenes this cannot be prepared and uh, by again you take uh, this compound so if it will undergo sn2 reactions so this will give you positive uh, charge on this carbon this becomes carbocation and uh, finally it will undergo uh, this uh, rearrangement so this is there is a methyl shift so on shifting the methyl shift what will happen this positive charge will shift to this uh, uh, this carbon so this is the uh, quaternary carbon and what will happen this quaternary carbon if you see uh, they will uh, lose one electron from this side so you will get two type of products one is the alkene products and this is your more stable so this is according to the sajaf rule we will get this alkene is the more stable and this is not possible so either in this case in this case you will get the product as a alkene that's why amines cannot be prepared easily from the corresponding acids it can be easily prepared from the corresponding acids and which because because they follow the hofmann bromamide reactions in which there is no chance of alkene formation due to the intramolecular rearrangement where the in this case there is a formation of alkenes so we can see this is the reactions by using pcl5 and ns3 so first they form amides so br to koh they form directly amines and this carbon so we can form uh, this amines from the carboxylic acid but uh, from this alkyl halides we cannot form the amines this is the reason so this is dimethyl amine is a stronger base than the trimethyl amine so what is the reason actually there are two factors operating in deciding the basic to the alkyl amines one is the inductive second is the solvation effect inductive effect means again alkyl groups they are the electrically electron donating so they will increase the charge density of the nitrogen so more charge density more it is a basicity so that's the increasing the basicity of the amines is there the expected behavior of the basicity will be like this r3n this is tertiary amine this is the secondary this is the primary and this is the zero degree but the steric factor in this one is very very high so it will it will um, definitely this nitrogen will having the more basis because they will have the more electron density but this electron density is useless because they will not utilize this electron density in this case why because of the steric factor there are three methyl group which surrounding the nitrogen so this lone pair is a poor availability as compared to r2nh and predicting the r2nh is the stronger base than the r3n this is the reason so this is the ordered methyl i mean this is cs3 and double bond cs cs3 and cs3n so basicity order of this will decrease why 
So this uh, you can use uh, by yourself by using the concept of uh, hybridization. So in hybridization, if the S character is very less, that is your uh, most basic. If the S character is more, then that is your more acidic. So uh, this hybridization, uh, this uh, basic order, you can decide by using this concept of hybridization. So try yourself and solve this problem.